Exophila genes alme, Wikipedia audio. Exophila genes alme is a saprotrophic fungus in the family Herpetriciaceae. Four varieties have been discovered: Exophila genes alme var. Heteromorpha, E. genes alme var. Lecanii corni, E. genes alme var. Genes alme, and E. genes alme var. Castellanii. Other species in the genus Exophila such as E. dermatididis and E. spinifer have been reported to have similar analytic conidiogenesis and may therefore be difficult to differentiate. Exophila genes alme was first isolated in 1928 by genes elm from a case of black mycetoma on the foot. The nomenclature was based on the fungus morphological characteristics, hence, it was originally classified as Tarula genes alme because of its yeast-like shape when grown in culture. It was later reclassified by McGuinness and Padhai in 1977 as Exophila genes alme after further research on conidiogenesis. In culture, E. genes alme produces slow-growing colonies that are green-black in color. Cultures manifest a combination of mycelial and yeast-like growth forms, however the yeast-like typically predominates. Black aerial mycelium develops on the colony surface that consists of hyphae with swellings at regular intervals. Conidia are variable in size and are often formed in clusters at the tip of analytic conidiogenous cells. The conidia are narrowly ellipsoidal in shape and 2.6 to 5.9 m times 1.2 to 2.5 m in size. Immature sexual fruiting bodies called ascomata have been reported but their rare occurrence are thought to be due to the lack of mating compatibility. Exophila genes alme is affiliated with the ascomycete genus Capronia. History Exophila genes alme is commonly found in soil, plants, water, and can also be isolated from decaying wood as this fungus is a saprotroph in nature. This species has worldwide occurrence but are particularly noted in Asia and more commonly in tropical and subtropical regions. The genus Exophila has been isolated from hydrocarbon-rich environments as well as from hot, humid, and oligotrophic environments such as dishwashers, steam bath facilities and bathrooms that only provide low levels of nutrients. It has been proposed that the conditions usually found within dishwashers such as high temperature, moisture, and alkaline pH can provide an alternative habitat for human pathogenic species. The fungus has optimal growth at 30 degrees Celsius but growth is inhibited at 40 degrees Celsius. Most strains isolated from soil cannot grow at temperatures higher than 30 degrees Celsius while strains isolated from humans can grow at higher temperatures such as 37 degrees Celsius of the human body. This adaptation of E. genes may had developed evolutionarily in order to survive on their human hosts. This is a distinguishing factor that helps in determining the pathogenicity of a particular strain. A feature that distinguishes E. genes alme from Cladosporium which forms very similar colonies is that E. genes alme is not proteolytic. It is able to assimilate glucose, galactose, maltose, and sucrose, but not lactose. Exophila genes alme has versatile adaptability and acts as an opportunistic pathogen. Infections are more common in immunocompromised people and can also have manifestations in healthy people with wounded skin via traumatic implantation. Chronic steroid use has been found to increase the severity of inflammation. There were also cases where infections by E. genes may occurred during solid organ transplants. Infections frequently cause inflammation in the cutaneous and subcutaneous tissues of the skin, causing pheomycotic cyst, chromoblastomycosis, and can occasionally cause umisatoma which is a chronic granulomatous disease in the form of black grains. 
Mycetoma, a common form of clinical manifestation of eGenzel May, is a chronic granulomatous inflammatory disease that forms abscess and draining sinuses in more advanced stages. In mycotic mycetoma, vesicles of cyst-like structures are formed. Dissemination, endocarditis, and arthritis could arise from an opportunistic infection by eGenzel May and it was also isolated from pheohyphomycosis with sclerotic round bodies. There have been several cases of eGenzel may being the etiological agent of pheohyphomycosis in domesticated cats where diagnoses were confirmed by sequencing the fungus ribosomal RNA. The grains of this fungus are small, black in color and have soft centers. Rare cases of keratitis infection of the cornea, have also identified e may as the etiological agent. The minimum inhibitory concentration of fluconazole for e may is very high, flucytosine and myconazole also have relatively high mics which indicate that the fungus is fairly resistant to these drugs. Amphotericin B, ketoconazole, and voriconazole have lower mics, and eGenzel may is most susceptible to itraconazole and terbinafine. Novel drugs such as echinocandin and caspafungin also have favorable antifungal activity against exophila genzel may isolates. However, in vitro susceptibility in comparison to the efficacy of antifungal agents in clinical manifestations of this fungus is currently unknown that in vitro success may or may not directly correlate clinically. Previous cases of black grain mycetoma caused by eGenzel may were clinically treated and cases of pheohyphomycosis caused by this fungus were completely cured where both cases were remedied by administering itraconazole. Eginzel may also showed some susceptibility to being treated with antifungal agents such as amphotericin B, voriconazole, and posiconazole. Amphotericin B used to be the most potent antifungal treatment for severe fungal infections, but due to its strong association with severe side effects such as nephrotoxicity, its use is now often replaced with azoles and echinocandins. The use of combinations of surgical excision and pharmacological treatments for severe infections is usually the preferred way to treat diseases caused by this fungus. Morphology Ecology Pathogenesis In vitro susceptibility and treatment